Now let's get commit started. Our first speaker is GitLab co-founder and CEO, Sid C. Brandy. Sid will share the latest progress and milestones across the GitLab community. Welcome to GitLab Commit. I'm Sid C. Brandy, co-founder and CEO of GitLab. The theme of today's event is you belong here. This is your community. Your contributions, big and small, reach everyone and allow us to learn from each other. The community has come together for some great events in the past, in Brooklyn, London, and San Francisco. While I wish we could be together in person, I'm happy to say that we have people attending our virtual event from more than 120 countries. And I want to remind you that everyone is welcome here. If you're watching at home and have roommates or family members around with an interest in DevOps, coding, or remote work, you can pull them into any session. GitLab values evolved this year. The diversity and inclusion value is now diversity, inclusion, and belonging. In the GitLab community, this means that the community is varied with people from every background and circumstance. It means that everyone feels empowered to voice their opinion. And belonging means that everyone feels heard when they contribute. The GitLab handbook has more information about this. You can find it by searching GitLab values. GitLab has come a long way since its inception as a source code tool. In 2011, we released on the 22nd of every month. And your feedback and contributions have inspired this growth. With 13.2 release having more than 100 new features. Today, GitLab is a complete DevOps platform delivered as a single application. And with new features added every month, GitLab is enabling collaboration across development, security, and operations teams, helping them to ship faster, reduce cost, and reduce risk. GitLab continues to invest in better integration with other products so that you can maintain the option to fully adopt GitLab rather than being forced into it. The product team will share more in their presentation, but I want to share one security update. GitLab has acquired Fuzzit and PeachTech. Their fuzz testing capabilities allow you to discover software defects early and the testing not only finds security issues, but you can also find flaws in the business logic of an application or service. I'm really excited about these new applications, which we are integrating inside the single application of GitLab. They will give you a more robust testing experience while simplifying workflows and creating more collaboration between software, security, and operations teams. And there's some more big news. We now have over 1 million licensed users on active paid subscriptions. GitLab is enabling teams, IT, and businesses to speed up, scale, and transform their delivery. These are the paying users. The total number of users is over 40 million. I want to say a big thank you to all of you. More than 100 thousand organizations use GitLab to power their DevOps transformation. I'm proud to welcome UBS. As the world's largest wealth management company, their DevOps journey led them to GitLab for total transformation to change the way their software is made securely. I'm also happy to welcome Early Warning, which is best known as the owner and operator of the Zella network a financial services network focused on transforming payment experiences. The company choose GitLab to power its modernization priorities. Welcome to our new customers and thank you all for partnering with GitLab. GitLab is very intentional in selecting partners that will work for you, no matter where you are in your DevOps journey. With technology partners on all the major public clouds, the big hybrid cloud providers, and a ton of companies in the Kubernetes ecosystem, GitLab remains agnostic for you to use with all of their great offerings. In the integration space, GitLab partners with hundreds of software providers to work well with the tooling you already are using. 
There's a ton of functionality in GitLab and service partners really help customers to embrace GitLab. Thank you to all of the GitLab partners. With more than 150, we couldn't fit them all on the slide, but you are all appreciated. Customer satisfaction is always top of mind, and I'm really happy that GitLab has been recognized as a Gartner Peer Insights customer choice for two years in a row. The first recognition in 2019 came with a customer rating of 4.6 out of 5 for enterprise agile planning tools. The second recognition in 2020 came with a customer rating of 4.6 again out of 5 for application release orchestration. Another great validation of customer satisfaction is in the Forrester conducted economic impact study based on input from select GitLab customers. The study found that customers saw a 407% three year return on investment with a 87% reduction in cycle time, a 12X increase in updates and new releases, and an 80% reduction in defects, and the ability to retire four tools each year. Community has been core to GitLab since our beginning as an open source project and the launch of GitLab.com on Hacker News. Contributions come in many forms that go beyond code. So, so far last year, this year, GitLab has been mentioned more than 38,000 times on social media which means that you are keeping the conversation going. The wider GitLab contributor community broke a record with over 300 MRs merged in the 13.1 release. And I wanna highlight a few of our MVPs. In the 13.2 release, Jesse Hall contributed the new batch suggestions feature, which allows MR reviewers to group all suggestions made into a diff and submit them all at, at once. This is a really awesome feature and I use it every day. This resulted in time savings and efficient CI resource utilization. And in 13.1, Jacopo Beshi added a new email notification when pipelines are fixed. The community was cheering this effort on with more than 50 comments. And there's something else to be happy about. In April, the community reached a new record with over 3,000 wider community code contributors. And that is in addition to the tens of thousands of contributions that go well beyond code in countless cases of suggestions, improvements, feedback, and use cases. Having a community this large and diverse means that we see contributions from developers of all experience levels from all around the world. And they're here to help everyone. These are just a couple of quotes that demonstrate the inclusiveness of the culture. Thank you to Roger and Daniel for sharing your experience with the GitLab community. GitLab team members and the wider community are working together to build up the next generation of contributors. Through many programs and activities, the community is helping individuals in underrepresented groups who are interested in a future in tech. This includes GitLab's Anita Borg sponsorship and the scholarships for the GitLab certification training program. I'm really proud of all the work that the GitLab community has been doing to help young people in technology and software engineering. GitLab also recently teamed up with trusted interns in South Africa with an unemployment rate of 55% for ages 15 to 24 before the pandemic, it's pretty clear that the young people of South Africa will benefit from remote work opportunities. GitLab just launched remote certification in July and offered this certification through trusted interns. More than 1,400 young people in South Africa have already enrolled. Another partnership that I'm really passionate about is with The Last Mile. The program operates in 14 US state prisons to provide business and technology training. The program has served over 400 students to date with a 0% repeat offense rate. My team and I recently had the opportunity to present an introduction to GitLab and DevOps to help students think about how they could get started as new developers. 
as with everything at Gala, we learn as a community and we celebrate as a community. The awards that GitLab receives belong to all of us. GitLab has been recognized in the categories of coding tools, development platforms, and innovative contributions in technology. And GitLab has received additional recognition for rapid growth and promise. As the wider community grows, GitLab, the company, has grown as well. With diversity, inclusion, and belonging as a GitLab value, it's essential that we remind that we remain mindful of our representation across the team. GitLab has 29% women in management, which is already close to the goal of 30% we set for the 2022 calendar year. From now through December of next year, GitLab is aiming for 50% of all senior leadership and executive hires to be women. The recently launched Minorities in Tech mentoring program will help to improve GitLab's ability to attract retain and engage minority team members. Additionally, GitLab has moved to an outbound recruiting model, which helps to deliberately seek out diverse talent. Since the launch, more than 50% of candidates has come from outbound efforts, and of those, 90% have diverse characteristics. As GitLab is mindful in its growth, I'm really happy to see such great feedback from employees. GitLab was certified as a great place to work this year. And GitLab was ranked number one on Comparably's best companies for professional development, ahead of Apple, Microsoft, HubSpot, LinkedIn, and Zoom. GitLab has gotten a lot of attention recently as one of the world's largest remote companies before COVID-19. The team, and especially Darren Murph, the head of remote at GitLab have been happy to share our experiences and learnings with companies who are considering going all remote. The GitLab team has conducted more than 40 webinars and panels, not more than 50 advising sessions with companies, venture capitalists, and universities since the outbreak. The GitLab remote playbook has tens of thousands of downloads, and you can find it yourself by searching GitLab remote playbook. And we've seen over 2 billion impressions of GitLab's external remote work content in media articles and shares. GitLab surveyed 3,000 individuals and put together the remote work report just before the pandemic. 56% of workers surveyed said that everyone can contribute in their remote environment. 80 3% of remote workers with disabilities said that they are able to work because of remote work. You'll often hear me say that all remote is better than hybrid, and the report confirms this, with 62% saying they'd leave a co-located company to join an all remote one. You can read all of these findings in detail by searching GitLab remote report. I mentioned earlier that we launched our remote work certification in July. We currently have 693 people who've gotten their certificate. This certification is available to anyone, whether you're an individual looking for a remote job or a company looking to do remote better. To get certified for free, you'll follow 10 self-paced knowledge assessments and you pass if you have a score of 80% or higher. You can find more information about this by searching GitLab remote certification. Today's 24-hour event has thousands of attendees joining from over 120 countries. There are more than 50 hours worth of amazing talks to choose from, with over 75 speakers from more than 20 industries. With virtual boots and networking, there's an opportunity for all of us to share and collaborate. I really enjoy Ask Me Anything sessions. I'll be doing two today, and I'll be joining the You Belong Here networking event. Please feel free to join, contribute, question, and share. Thank you for being part of the GitLab community, and thank you for being part of our first virtual commit. You belong here. <laughs> <laughs>